that cannot be stopped. It cannot be stopped. Right now, the Republicans are playing for all the marbles. They are playing for keeps. They are pulling out every stop that you can imagine. Just as I was driving into town, I checked my email. Another email shows up. Just when you think you've heard enough about Republican tricks, a new idea comes up. So we have, you know, fake Democrats, and then we have, um, we have basically fake election days. Fake districts, right. And now, what do we have? We have information that are telling people that's completely false information about not only the day, but what they need when they go to the polling place. I just saw a guy in Eau Claire who's from Menominee did not vote in the primary because he didn't have an accurate current ID. I heard when I was with Shelley just a couple days ago stories of people that canvassed in Hudson. They knocked on the door four times. These are ID Dems. Four times they knocked on the door. The fifth time they went to the door, it was election day. The fifth time. And the person said, I thought the election was next week. Where's my polling place? Do not underestimate how important these next few days are. And do not underestimate how important election day is. It is critical, ladies and gentlemen. Republicans are remarkably consistent about voting. When I looked at those numbers after the election, and I said, oh my God, what happened? You know what I found? You know what I found. The Democrats stayed home. And I'm not going to pick on Menominee because it's not in my district. But those guys that are in Eau Claire, hold your ears. Because you know what I'm going to say because you've heard me say it before. In the southern part of the city of Eau Claire, which I represent, 1,100 people voted in 06. Remember, off-year elections have lower turnout than presidential elections, so we compare off-year to off-year. 1,100 people voted in 06 that did not vote in 10. 1,100 people. That's why Petrick won. That's why Petrick won. And he only won by, what, 84 votes? 84 votes. 1,100 people, and of those 1,100 people, 850 people were in six key Democratic wards in Eau Claire. All across my Senate district, I saw wards that were strongly Democrat drop off by 100, 150 votes. But you know what else I saw? What else I saw was where we had people working on the ground in neighborhoods, talking to their friends, countering the vicious, nasty advertising that all you have to do is turn on the TV to see a good example of right now. Where we had people on the ground, I won. And I not only won in Democratic wards, I won in Republican wards. I won in independent wards. And I won the election. Yeah. <laughs>